So we got some new info for the one hour special of Dragon Ball Super and it says that Goku will use Super Saiyan Blue times 20 Kaioken against Jiren and that's not gonna work so then he tries to use the spirit bomb on him and here where I'm confused the spirit bomb only works on villains and people with evil intentions and Jiren isn't one of them he's a warrior for justice and I don't think the spirit bomb will work on him but I can see the spirit bomb used in a different way. When Goku asks his teammates to raise their hands to gather energy, I can see the Omni King doing the same, which will result in Goku getting a lot of power from the Omni King. And I know what you're gonna say, it's cheating, but remember that the Omni King is a child. So when Goku asks his teammates to raise their hands, he's gonna raise his hand. His friends will Goku, and I don't see why he won't and after he gathers the spirit bomb he will absorb the spirit bomb and that will result in him achieving his new form and that's just my theory it's not confirmed but that's what i think will gonna happen to the people that are going to say well goku can't absorb the spirit bomb we saw goku absorb the spirit bomb before in the angel 13 movie so it's possible for him to absorb the spirit bomb you might say that the movie isn't canon well it's not canon but we saw him do it, so why can't Toriyama let Goku do it again? But what I got from the spoilers is something else, and that is the fact that Goku will use times 20 Kaioken against Jiren, and it will not work. Dragon Ball has this weird thing, and I don't know if Toriyama wants it that way every time someone achieves a new form or a transformation, it's only useful in that arc. I mean, he might use it after that, but he can only hold off enemies with a newer form or a transformation. Let's look at Dragon Ball Z. With the Kaioken technique, it worked against Vegeta in the Saiyan Saga. In the Frieza Saga, he unlocked Super Saiyan to defeat Frieza, so Kaioken didn't last for long. In the Android and Cell Saga, Super Saiyan was useful, just at the beginning, and then they achieved Ascended Super Saiyan, and it worked for a while. After that, it didn't work anymore on Cell. So they had to achieve a new form and they achieved Super Saiyan 2. Well Gohan achieved it. Now in the Buu Saga using Super Saiyan 2 didn't cut it. Even Majin Vegeta in his Super Saiyan 2 form. He couldn't defeat Buu. So Goku used Super Saiyan 3. He could have defeated Fat Buu. But Kid Buu he couldn't. So he used the Spirit Bomb on him. The Super Saiyan 3 form was only useful to hold off Buu. Some might say that well Gohan used Potential Unleashed. He used it and it didn't last for long remember that boo ate gohan and gohan wasn't able to defeat boo with his potential unleashed now you're getting what i'm saying in dragon ball super super saiyan god was in the first arc super saiyan blue in the next arc super saiyan blue kaioken form in the arc after that in the universe 6 arc in the goku black arc super saiyan blue didn't work as well on zamas except when vegeta trained and then it didn't even cut it in terms of defeating zamas so they defeated zamas by chunks absorbing the spirit bomb and cutting zamas in half and now this new form of goku's it doesn't have an official name yet but i'm calling it limit breaker form as the internet is calling now you see in every major arc the form that Goku used in the previous arc doesn't work as well anymore and that's what i think the problem with the transformations in dragon ball they don't last for long the form that goku or vegeta achieved should not be weak the arc after they achieved it right after the resurrection of f saga in the tournament vegeta used super saiyan blue against it and he got beaten it was the next arc after he achieved his super saiyan blue the only form that has stuck and still can be useful against new foes is potential unleashed i can't see gohan using potential unleashed and not needing a new form to get stronger so what i'm getting at is with every new form a new form is needed and it's a little too much by now why couldn't goku get a form that he can improve on with time rather than needing to unlock a new one and now with this new form i can guarantee only one thing that it will be useful in this arc but in the next major arc it will be overpowered by the villain that they will face and just to be clear i'm not hating on the transformations i'm just saying that we don't need a new transformation in every major arc let the old transformations shine for a longer time and i do hope that 
that this new form of Goku is the true Super Saiyan God form. Who knows? Akira Toriyama can pull anything that he wants from thin air without giving a good explanation and he might ignore the power scaling but i have high hopes for goku's new form this is it for the video leave your thoughts in the comments below and tell me what's the problem with the transformations in your opinion it's fine if you don't see any problem it's just my own opinion and i'm just saying it and one thing before i go i just want to thank everyone for the support on the previous videos. When I uploaded the video with Freeze and Goku, I didn't expect it to get this much attention. And I thank you for supporting and even hating. I just wanna let you know that I appreciate everything. Even if you don't like me, I just wanna thank you for even just clicking on my channel and watching even uh, just one second. It really means a lot. And it's fine if we don't agree on some things. I created this channel to have discussions with the community on Dragon Ball things. So it's fine if you don't like what I say. But if you want to discuss something, please, please leave a comment and we will discuss it. Saying that, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.